Oh, what is up, guys? It's your boy, the DSU Prodigy, and I'm back with another YouTube video and tonight, or today. I don't know when this video is gonna drop, but I'll try to get it out as soon as possible. Um, but anyway, I love you all. Thank you so much for all the support on the series. Thank you so much for all the support on the channel. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? Um, please... Please smack the like button if you want to see more Heavy Rain. If you want to see these videos get dropped as, um, as quick as possible. Just keep leaving some support, dropping some support, and I'll just keep dropping these for you. Um, and also, please subscribe if you are new. Thank you so much for 131 subs. It means a lot. We're continuing Heavy Rain, as you guys can see. We left off. Um, gathering evidence, um, we were, uh, special agent Jaden something, and we were gathering, um, information, so, uh, yeah, guys, so, let's fucking see what this video has in, for store, let's see what has in store for today, let's get it, guys, okay. Tuesday, 1 p.m., 0.765 inches. I'm pretty sure that's like a fucking... Don't think, Ethan. Give me the first idea that pops into your head. Oh, my bad, man. My, I was trying the to talk fly. to my people, but, um... Uh, a fox or a wolf, I... Uh, that looks more a like a wolf to me. That looks like a crab. a crab. That looks like death. 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 I think we did good, bros. I have the results of your MRI scans. Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. It's my fault Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. It was an accident. Accidents happen every day. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. How is Sean? He's a very solitary kid, you know, very focused within himself. He's really close to his mother. With me, he's more distant. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? I feel sort of anesthetized, as if none of this was real. Sometimes I tell myself this whole thing is just a nightmare and that I'll wake up at any moment. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? I sometimes have these blackouts, times when I don't know what I'm doing. I recover consciousness sometime later, but I'm someplace else, and I have no idea how I got there. Do you think this could be related to the accident? You suffered a massive concussion and were in a coma for six months. We really don't know what effect a shock like that can have on the brain. That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. You were lucky, Ethan. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor.
Don't give me that little bitch. Now nah, I'm playing. I'm playing. Alrighty, so it's like four fucking four ten. Yeah, four ten. Let's see you. How was school? Huh? How did things go at school today? The teacher yelled at me for being late again. She's gonna send me home the next time it happens. I'm sorry. About school that. is for losers the anyway, time, Sean. We'll really pull it together, okay? Is something the matter, Sean? No, I'm all right. Do you want to eat something? Aren't you going to go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. School. What the fuck? Why can I pick nothing? A boomerang? You know how to use it? No, not really. I can never make it come back. Can I give it a try? Oh shit! That was cool, bros. Hiya! Whoa! You did it, Dad! Do you want to give it a try? I won't be able to do it. Oh, come on, let's try together. Now, the main thing is to get the right position at the beginning. Now you gotta throw it straight and a little to the right. Now throw it. Is it working? Oh, he caught it. I did it. I did it, Dad. Good job, Sean. See? That wasn't so hard. Where are you going, you little sh- oh. I haven't been on a seesaw in a long time. What do you think? Yeah! Come on, Dad! Make me fly! Here you go, you little shit. Now be a bird. <laughs> Shit, that rainbow is cool. So fast you won't be able to stay on it. Great. Oh great. Go on, Dad. As fast as 
<laughs> Shit, my mic unplugged. Whoa, I think my head is spinning. <laughs> Good training, <laughs> astronauts, though. <laughs> That's no merry go round. I'd like a packet of strawberry flavored chewies, please. Thanks. Hey, I got you some chewies. I hate strawberry. Thanks. Fucking it was nice little of shit. Well, where are you going, you little shit? Looks like rain's coming. I think we better go. Okay. You know, sometimes I remember before, I mean, when Jason was still here, sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before. Me too, Sean. Me too. Hey, Dad, can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. One, please. That's a dollar. There he is. Give me my ticket, you bitch! I guess we have it, I don't know. Don't go anywhere now! I have a bad fucking feeling about this. Don't have a blackout now? Oh my god. Snap out of you little shit! Stop doing drugs! Oh, great. We're here again, man. Oh, shit! What the fuck? That has kind of scared me. Carnaby Quarter West. Oh shit. What the fuck? Has he been drugged? That's his backpack. He's gotta be dreaming. Bruh. can you do this, bro?
How can you zone out? Oh shit, there's the origami. Bro, we were just at the fucking carnival. And then we fucking blink out or some shit, have a blackout, and we end up in the middle of the street and it becomes real life. Get the. F I don't believe it. You have a knock. Unlocked a new bonus. Trophy and good friends. Okay. I still don't fucking believe it. Do you think it's gonna take long? No, he should be finished soon. Take out them sunglasses, boy. What's, gonna he, what's he gonna do? Fucking pictures in somewhere or some shit? Oh shit, that's cool. Hiya! That's cool. Hiya! I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Jaden, of course. We've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no. Now it's fine. I just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we had some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. Brr. Hey. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get him well together. Do you know how to tie a knot in a necktie? I guess. To be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press are all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. There are hundreds of killers in this country, but what do you know? This guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. Work that one out, then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, it's none of my business. No, of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress, and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. Hmm. Not bad. Oh, go see Charlene. She'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club, Jaden.
don't know who this Charlene is. Uh, must be the girl at the register. Let's see. Oh, let's talk to Lieutenant. I'm ready to start. Maybe we should kick off by talking about the case. I have some work to finish here. Let's talk about that later, if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, no problem. Just let me know when you're available. Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Congratulate Larry on my behalf. I'll be sure to do that, sir. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. <sighs> this? This is my office? That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. What a piece of shit. Okay, time to work. Whoop out the sunglasses real quick. Whoop them out. Step one. Change the office. Water. Clouds. Whatever the fuck that is, a leaf. That's fucking do water, bro. I don't like it. Let's see about clouds. Or this is a this will do. This is cool as hell. <laughs> uh, let's look in clues. So let's look at the tire tracks. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. The killer's car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. What's a geo analysis? Me. No prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. 
Just one origami store in town. Hmm. A common species. That doesn't help much. Take a look at flower the shops. The is a common species. It can be found at any flower shop. Let's clear that. Let's look at the files. Chill, bruh! Chill, dog! I'm sorry, I, I, I gotta stop saying, bruh. I'm a white boy. I didn't push it to the right, man. Let's clear that. Matt. Let's take a look at the files again. Like, this is confusing. How? Okay, that's how you ritual. open it. An origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found. Which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. Let's take a look at this. Let's just analyze it. killer is white, age between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Okay, time for the victims. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys, aged between 9 and 13. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned. In rainwater. Analyze it. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. The killer has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Hmm, this won't make the geo profiling any easier. Well, that's it. Yo, you good, bro? Here we go again. I better go wash my face. I need to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. It's all right. I know I can make it. I know. I know I can make it.
What the fuck? There we are, I think. This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marshall. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it All right. This afternoon, I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while, and then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses, and when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. 4.15. 4.15. Yeah, that's it, 4.15. I remember exactly because I looked at the clock in the park when we arrived. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was wearing a coat. Ah, oh, okay. gray or white? Beige. A beige coat. And a pair of pants. Oh my god. Yeah. Green. Green pants. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? Stayed on bench. Can't remember. Bruh. We didn't go for a little walk. We had to get the tickets. We turned around and he was gone, bruh. He he was gone. Okay, bro. Okay. I went for a short walk around the park just for a few minutes. When I got back, the carousel had stopped and Sean wasn't there. You say you took your son to the park after school. You didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? Looking for him. I searched the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. All right. That's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. Thank you. We'll continue you. to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do... Do you think the origami killer... Listen, your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. That's what they all so say! Is the origami killer. Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. Fucking asshole! You better do it yourself, man. Did they find something? Oh, look who it is. No, nothing yet. But they're gonna keep looking through the night. Do they... Do they think it's the origami killer? It, it, it's still too early to say. But it is a possibility. What happened, Ethan? How could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? Whoa! You stop it, right? That was far. That was too far. That's not what I meant to say. You're not the one who was in a coma. We tried to save him, man. No, you fucker. You little shit. You fucker.
All right, guys. Well, that's going to conclude matters for tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smack the like button. If you want to see me upload this um, consistently, make sure you drop some support and let me know down in the comments. And uh, sorry that I'm, I'm uploading this like really late. Well, not really late, but later than usual. I'm going to get better with time management and all that shit. It's just the summer. All my, all my fucking schedule is way out the fucking line. I'm sorry about that. I'll get better. Anyway, I love you all so much. Just smack the like button, guys. Uh, excuse me. Subscribe if you are new for some, for some uh, good ass quality content. Uh, thank you so much for 131 subs. It means a lot. Thank you so much for all the support on the series. I hope you guys have been enjoying it so far as much as I have. We lost our boy today, and this is where it gets good. This is where this is where we fucking go out and look and we team up. I think so. That's what I heard. But um, and I think I fucking think so. You know, like we fucking look for him detective wise and dad wise. So yeah, I'm just hyped to play this game for you guys. Thank you so much for all the support. I love you. I know I'm saying that a lot, but I I mean it, guys. I mean it. We have fucking five videos. That have hit triple digits. Um, so it's almost six. It's almost six. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's been the DSU Prodigy. And I'm out, y'all. Peace.